I'm Danny and I'm an artist and an arts and health facilitator at BCAT and, and today I'd like to share with you how you can make your very own pinhole camera. Um, so this is basically one of the first types of camera that were invented and it's made and it basically functions using a very simple process of letting in light and projecting an image onto a small screen inside of the camera. And it might sound complicated, but it's not. It's something that we can make using a few simple materials that you can find dotted around your house. So let's get started. Um, so the things that you're going to be needing is a tube. Um, so this could be a toilet roll tube, or it could be a wrapping paper tube. Um, you're bound to find something somewhere, but I couldn't find one, but I made one out of cardboard. So. That's our tube. We'll need a bit of sellotape. Um, we're going to need some cardboard. We'll need some pins or if you've got a needle or something similar to that. Um, we need a bit of foil and some baking paper, something translucent, and um, some scissors, and then a pen and a pencil. And finally, you'll need a ruler. Okay, so that's us all set. Now I think we're ready to crack on. So first things first, let's grab our bit of foil. And this is basically, so in your phone or on a camera, you've got a lens. And that's what lets, in, what lets light into, into the camera, basically. But pinhole cameras are quite simple in that Will be let that they'll be letting in the light through this hole in the foil. So we're going to start by making a hole in the foil, but we're not just going to go for it. We want the hole to be nice and crisp, so it'll give us a nice sharp image when we use the camera. So to do that, we need to get a little bit of cardboard and place the foil on top of the cardboard, and then we're going to take our tube place that on top of the foil and just ever so gently draw around the foil, draw around the, sorry, draw around the tube on the foil. Just gently, we don't want to rip the foil, we just want to leave a mark of a circle on there. So now you should have an outline of a circle. Don't know if you can see mine. Okay. And then using your ruler, you need to measure the middle of that circle. Okay. So I found the midpoint. Now what we're going to do is take a pin. And with our foil placed on top of the cardboard, I'm just going to ever so gently push the pin, just really nice and slowly, through the foil. Make a nice crisp hole. Okay? So this is basically going to be the lens that lets the light through into our pinhole camera. Okay? So now we take our tube and we're going to be making something which is called the field of vision. And the field of vision basically determines how much or how little of an image we can see inside of the camera. So what I'm going to do is find, find a point on the cardboard and chop it out. So taking my ruler, I'm going to start marking a small section of, of, of this. So I'm going to go about that much. Okay, so let's get going.
a nice line. Now we're ready to cut that out using scissors. Okay, so this, this can be quite a tricky bit. Um, if you need a helping hand, just get somebody to come and give you a hand with it because it can be quite fiddly. But if you're going to do it on your own, just do it nice and slowly, there's no rushes there. And then just take your time to cut that out. So there we have two sections. So, now what we're going to be doing is making the screen for our um, pinhole camera. And this is basically the, this is basically sit inside of the camera and it's where we'll be seeing our image projected onto. So what we're going to do, put that to one side, the large part for one moment, and take our little section. And then what we're going to do is just draw around this section onto the baking paper. And then we know what we're going to be working with and the size of the length. So that you can see this circle up the front, I'm just going to go over in a marker. That way, I can be easy to see what we're doing. Okay. So, there you should have your circle. And to make it stick a little bit easier onto the tube, what I'm going to do is draw some tabs. So, on the each side, and the top and the bottom, I've drawn a tab. This this way, we'll have we'll be able to stick it on a bit easier. So there you go. It should look something like that. And so again, let's cut that out nice and neatly. Take your time, as always. Take your time. So there we go. How did yours look? Did it look like that? Great. Okay. So now we'll attach that to a little section of the camera. Grab a little bit of tape. Okay, so there we have it. Does yours look like that? So we've got our screen ready for viewing the image. Okay, so now what we're going to do, coming back to our bit of foil, take our foil with the hole in it, and using this small piece again, on the other side this time, we're going to attach this bit of foil. Because we've drawn our outline on the foil, it makes it a lot easier for sticking it on nice and central, like so. We're just going to secure all that nice and neatly in place using a bit of cellophane. So there we've got our foil on that end. And on our other end we've got our baking paper. So now what we're going to do is take our tube, our big tube, and we need to reattach our, view, our viewer. So the screen it's going to be going onto the inside. So we need to line that up. And reattach that using a little bit of sticky tape. Because we've cut our tube and we've reattached it, there's bound to be lots of light holes. And when you um, when you're doing cameraless photography, you can't really have any holes. So what we're going to do is to make doubly sure that no light is going to be getting in. We're going to cover the whole thing in a bit of foil. All right, so I'm just going to finish securing this and then I'm going to grab a bit of foil to cover it all. So grab your foil, grab your roll, and then just measure a, short, a little bit that's big enough to cover it all. And roll it up. And just secure it with a little bit of tape. Tuck in the ends. Nice and malleable, isn't it, foil? So you're all right. You can work that in like that. Just secure it a little bit more. Better to be better to overdo it than under. And so on the other end, where you've got your pin, don't cover that one up. Just trim it around it. 
Because you need your light hole, remember? There we go. And there we go. So another precaution you can take, just to make sure that there's no light, is to cover it all in some kind of like black material, black cardboard, or I've got a little bit of um, black plastic off an old bean bag. So I'm going to wrap it in that. And also, at the open end, this is where you're going to be viewing. You can cover that in a bit of black card too to make sure that no light's going to get in. So let's do that. Okay, so there you have it, the pinhole camera. So to use your pinhole camera, get this end, the open end. Ooh, get the open end. And you put, put it over your eye, don't let any light get in. And you direct it towards those bits of light or light sources around your house. And now you're ready to go off exploring. So have fun and I'll see you next time. Bye.